let's look at the Maya vector render. To uh, access the vector render, just go under Window, Rendering Editors, Render Globals, and just choose Vector Render from the drop-down menu here. Okay, so you can see that there's a, a common tab here and also a Maya vector tab, which contains the attributes that relate to the uh, vector render. Um, and you'll notice under image format, uh, there's a couple of new formats. There's Macromedia, an encapsulated postscript, and Illustrator, and SVG. Now, the Maya vector render, um, it can be used to create stylized rendering, so for instance, cartoon looks or line art type work. Um, or, very importantly, uh, 2D vector formats for programs such as Flash and Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we're going to create more of a, a cartoony or line art type uh, of a look here with this file. So I'm just going to choose IFF from the uh, image format. And just under Maya Vector, let's look at some of the um, attributes that we can change. So just under Appearance Options, obviously this is going to affect the appearance of the, uh, of the render. So curve tolerance, basically what that does is it determines how the outlines are going to look. So whether they're curved or whether they're kind of straight line segments. Um, when you give it a value of zero, you're going to get kind of a straight line. And when you give this a value of 10, you're going to get more of a curvy line. Um, the detail level preset, um, you can choose from this menu. And basically, the higher we go here, the more detail that you're going to get in your render. Um, high levels, such as 30, uh, produce more detail, whereas a low, low detail is more like a 10. Okay, so then that would be the detail level here. Um, under fill options, this is how you're, you're going to fill um, the, the image or, or basically fill in between the lines or the outlines of your image. So you can use a single color, two colors, four colors, full, full, uh, full color. So there's a number of options for, for the fill style. Um, the edge options here, so you can include sort of the outlines or the edges as well. And these values here are going to determine um, how thick that line is going to be, so how thick the outline is, um, as well as the color. Fill objects first. Okay, and we'll do a single color. And just move that over to the side. So what I've got here is a mailbox. Um, one thing I should point out, the, the vector renderer only works with point lights. So if you have other lights in your scene, a point light will be added for the render and then um, deleted once the render is finished. But I have point lights in here, so they'll use that. So what I've got here is just a mailbox. And assigned to the mailbox is just a red Lambert shader. And if we do a render, this is just a regular vector render. You can see the results are quite flat. Okay, so we can go in and we can change that. Um, let's go back to the render globals. And let's change this to something like four color. Okay, so you're going to get these like blocks um, that are four colors. Okay, the other thing that you can do is you can just do outlines. So if I just choose edge options, include edges, I'm just going to uh, change the edge color here something like blue, okay? And so that'll just render out the outlines. Um, but then you can actually change the thickness um, by changing the weight here. So if we just move this up a little bit, you'll see that we'll get thicker outlines, okay? And eventually we can get very thick outlines. Um, and hidden edge, what that's going to do is actually show the edges um, that are kind of behind other objects, for instance. So if we just choose that, see so we're seeing that edge in the back there? Just turn that up a little bit. OK. Um, so just this is just kind of a, a workflow for getting kind of line or arty type drawings. Um, but in terms of uh, outputting to 2D vector formats such as Flash, uh, we'll go back to the Common tab. And let's go, for instance, to Macromedia. And let's look at the Vector tab now. OK, so notice that we have one extra little um, section here that relates to the image format uh, for Flash. So we've got frame rate. So this is a frame rate of the um, Flash player in frames per second. Then we've got the version. So this is the version of the rendered Flash player file. Um, 
open in browser and combine fills and edges, what that's going to do is combine fills and edges. So if you, um, if you render like this, with this on, what that's going to do is it's going to render the fills and the edges as one object, <coughs> and then you can bring it into Flash that way. Now, you can't separate the two, the fills and the edges, unless you break the object. Um, but what this does is, when this is on, is it actually creates smaller file sizes, which is probably most optimal if you are going to be um, rendering for Flash. And if we just go back to the Common tab, and let's choose SVG, and go back to the Vector tab. Again, you'll notice that there's a couple of differences in the image format options. Um, frame rate, again, that's frame per frames per second. Um, and then for SVG animation, so if it's native, uh, then what happens is Maya creates one SVG file containing the frames of the animation um, and also the script that drives it. And if it's actually script, um, what happens is Maya creates an SVG file of the animation um, and then an HTML file with the JavaScript that drives it. And compress, basically what that does is it re reduces the file size. Um, one thing is that you can't edit a compressed SVG file, so you might want to take that into consideration. Now, the thing about using this the vector render for creating SWF or SVG files for online delivery is that you, you want to keep the file sizes down. So heavy scenes and you know certain settings um, can produce very large files, which could be unsuitable for online delivery. So some hints are to get rid of minor elements, uh, reduce triangles if you can, Choose the appropriate, appropriate fill style. So for instance, um, try and avoid full color or mesh gradient, because those tend to uh, increase file sizes. Um, when using the SWF format, turn on the combined fills and edges. Um, and then for the SVG, maybe what you might want to do is turn on compressed. Um, you might want to change the edge style to outline instead of entire mesh. So down here. Um, and the other thing is you might want to turn off the show back faces if the surface doesn't render because you know it's facing away from the camera. Now some of the features that um, the vector render doesn't include um, are bumps and displacements. But with displacements, what you can do um, is you can convert them into poly meshes by going to uh, modify, convert displacement to polygon. So if you did that with a displacement, then you can use the vector render to render that. Um, you can't render image planes, um, things like fluids for paint effects and particles. Um, and as I mentioned, the, um, the point lights are the only lights that are acceptable for the vector render.